Hello and welcome to Math with Andy. Today we're going to talk about the Pythagorean Theorem. <coughs> hey little noxious girl, why don't you come on over here? Yeah, you. Do you know what the Pythagorean Theorem is? No. Of course not, because you're five and probably can't even pronounce Pythagoras. Now get out of here, kid. You bother me. <coughs> so, like I said, today we're going to talk about the Pythagorean Theorem and, more importantly, how to prove it. First of all, let me start off by saying that the Pythagorean Theorem was invented by this guy. His name was Pythagoras. Pythagoras was an ancient Greek guy. And to make a really long and boring story short, he did some fancy stuff with numbers and came up with a cool theorem that we all use today to solve problems in ninth grade geometry. Now, what Pythagoras' theorem states is that when you take a right triangle, which is a triangle with one 90 degree angle, this side squared plus the length of this side squared will equal the length of this side squared. And if you want to talk about variables, that would be a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, a lot of people, a math teacher being one of them, decided to ask, well, how do we know that works? That's exactly why I'm here today, to prove that the Pythagorean theorem does indeed work. How we'll start is we'll draw a trapezoid. I know what you're thinking. Trapezoids have nothing to do with triangles. But trust me, this works out. So just listen, and I'll prove this works. You draw a couple of lines. That is a terrible line. I only roll out of the curve. Okay, lines. They come out to some triangles. We'll label the sides. A. B. A. B. And a couple of C's we'll throw in there. And since this is the altitude of the trapezoid, put in those 90 degree angle marks. Hmm. What does this and this look like. Kind of familiar, because I just showed it to you earlier. The two right triangles. Hey, so kid! Now, you ever hear of cue cards? You want to give it a rest out there? Thank you! I guess this is what I get broadcasting from my living room. Like I was saying, now we're going to calculate the area of this trapezoid. This can be done in two different ways. One is using the equation, which is half the sum of the length of the bases times the length of the altitude, which comes out to A plus B over 2 times A plus B. We can also calculate the area as the sum of the area of three triangles. The, tri the equation for an area of a triangle is half the length times the height. This comes out to AB over 2 plus AB over 2 plus C squared over 2. We have AB, AB, CC. Works so, out. Now, since these both are the area of this trapezoid, we can set them equal to each other.
There we go. Now, I know that doesn't look anything like the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But we'll get there. First, we simplify a bit. a plus b over 2 times a plus b over 1 equals what does that equal? Okay. 2ab plus c squared over 2. Then we simplify again by putting those up and that comes out to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab over 2 equals 2ab plus c squared over 2. That's still not the Pythagorean theorem, so we're going to go even further. We're going to multiply both sides by 2, getting a squared plus b squared plus 2ab equals 2ab plus c squared. It's still not the Pythagorean theorem, but I'm sure you can all see where we're going to go from there. Subtract 2ab from both sides, and you finally get the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which applies to these two triangles there. Well, there you have it. In summary, Pythagoras is a cool guy. He's right. Listen to him. Signing off. And now, a word from my sponsor. Hi, this is Sundial Solon and Egyptian Eddie here to present the Sundial Company. We now feature the Pythagoras Sundial. See how it's got the right triangle. It's easily portable. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh well. Sundial, remember, sundials are not for use at night or in overcast conditions. Does it have batteries? Of course not. It's solar powered. Excellent. Please don't use it in water because you might not come back up. And that now, this is Sundial Solon and Egyptian Eddie signing off. Thanks, pal.